I haven't done any maintenance on the Jeep in two and a half years. So hopefully there aren't any big problems. Ooh, that is tight. Why is that so tight? Oh. That wasn't a chunk of something, was it? Oh. Well, my drain plug fell in. What's up everybody, welcome back to the garage. Today we are working on my 2000 Jeep Wrangler TJ. It's a Sahara edition, has a little bit of a lift on it. I've had it since May-ish of 2021 and takes very little maintenance. The thing is basically a tractor. Just drive it here around town. On the highway sometimes, doesn't have any issues across the board. It's just kind of a little old, a little worn out, but just keeps chugging along. Has 230, almost 2,000 miles on it now. Original engine has not been rebuilt. The, um, I think the intake manifold gasket was replaced right before I got the truck. But other than that, no major maintenance at any point other than routine fluid changes and all that kind of stuff. A uh, big part of why I did this video today was just because I got a new GoPro on uh, Black Friday deals and I want to see how it works. I've been using my phone and an old GoPro 4 for a long time now, so I just wanted to see how this camera works, how the mics work, how the different uh, lighting situations, all that stuff works. So if you have any comments on that, better, worse, indifferent in general, let me know. All right, we are prepping to change the oil in the Jeep. Got to move some stuff around here in the garage first. And so we're going to just record that and see what happens. It's my awesome new 20 quart oil drain pan thing. Put on my awesome mechanics outfit here. There's a lot of stuff around on the floor here. Ugh. Need to clean the garage. All right. Okay. That is an engine lift bar that I'm going to use in the Ranchero at some point to change the oil pan gaskets. These look like fairly clean used gloves. Phone. Phone will go on the bumper for now. Now, let's open the hood. And in case you didn't know, all Jeeps of this age, this is how the hood opens. It's just those two rubber clips, and then it does have the normal clip in the center here. Just like that, that guy. And the cool thing about working on a Jeep is that the hoods, at least on a TJ, fold all the way back. Ugh. So, put this here. Makes it extremely easy to work on the engine. Like, look how wide open this is. Super cool. So much room, so much space. Now, we haven't really talked about the Jeep yet much at all um it's just kind of the weekend bomb around vehicle it's clean doesn't give me any problems do a little overview of the engine here you can see a little bit of seepage and dampness around the breather but in general it is extremely extremely clean this thing has just barely shy of 232,000 miles on it. So I'm amazed that it's in as good a shape as it is. Very little maintenance on this thing. It's pretty awesome. All right. We're gonna get down below and change the oil here. You can see me. That's the important part, right? <laughs> All right. What are you? What are you? What are you? Oh, that's exactly what that is. That is five eighths. Oh. 
Ooh, that is tight. Why is that so tight? This oil only has 2,500 or maybe 2,000 miles on it, but I changed it when I got the truck back in May of 21. So it's definitely time to do it again. Ooh, baby. That looks reasonably clear. Well, not clear, but not too dirty. So we'll see how much we get out. Supposedly, this is a um, six quart pan. It is a big pan. It does smell a little bit of gasoline, which I don't particularly like. The one thing I don't like about this pan, that one of my other ones is, that it has like the little thing to hook in your, your drain plug on the side. But, I'll survive. Oh. That wasn't a chunk of something, was it? The good thing is, it looks like it still has most of the oil it's supposed to in it. Drain plug fell in. I'll bring it with me. Going up top. Look and see. Make sure our pan is roughly below. How am I going to grab this? Oh, that's good. Good. I was smart when I did this and didn't make it overly tight. this on some cardboard aka this big box from Costco and let it drain and see if we get anything weird out of it all right so we got the uh, changing the the engine air filter just because that's what you should do sometimes and I definitely neglect doing this all the time but check this out that's only 2,000 ish miles that's obviously the new one that's the old one all right we are getting ready to what are we going to do we're going to put some oil back in the jeep so go down here to my collection of stuff oh there's the filter we got it out already using the fram extra guard ph 16. all right here is our new filter new fun um, we're using Mobile One 530. Got it at Costco on crazy sale, like the the six quart box for thirty bucks, I think, which is a hell of a deal. So put a little in here, get it soaked. I'm probably gonna, yeah, I'm gonna fill this thing up, let it sit. And then what doesn't get absorbed, I'm going to just pour back in here. You can see that beautiful, clean new oil. Always, always, always make sure you lubricate your seal here. And I believe, yeah, this thing basically flips over. So do both sides of it. Why not? So what we're going to do now is clean off the original little bit of oil spill that's down there so we'll get our handy dandy fancy light here and some brake cleaner and just go to town okay we'll let that dry off and I'll get in there with a towel wipe it out a little bit we'll put our new filter in place obviously it's much simpler to fill your filter when they mount vertically rather than horizontally kind of seems like a missed opportunity from a lot of automakers but hey, we do what we can with what we have right and when i got this there was only a small oil leak 
from the sensor here, I believe that's it's got to be the oil level sensor or pressure sensor, whatever. But I just popped that off, resealed it. Never a problem since then. So, go on back in. All right, oil filters on. Do not be the person that over tightens those and cranks them down and makes it impossible to take off. Do a little, yeah, it's snug. On the Ranchero here, when I took off the oil filter and I got the car, I had to, I don't have an oil filter wrench because I'm, I'm responsible with how tight I make these things. And I ended up having to jam multiple screwdrivers through it just to get the right leverage and cut it off. It was absolutely ridiculous. Somebody must have wrenched it on there. Piss me off. But it's good now. Let's go back down below. And tighten up that nut. Ugh. Yep. This can be a little more snug than what you might typically do on a modern car because this pan is steel. But again, don't want to go hard. So that's tight. We're going to go slightly more than tight. And that's it. This is our box where our filter has been draining. And I would say... Good news, I don't see anything shiny in there. So that's awesome. Oil filter's doing its job and the engine is still living. Two very important things. this stuff it is like as thick as honey so if it's cold outside you're gonna have a hell of a time it's like 65 here today and it's still this thick it's always a good idea to do it this way with Lucas put it in when you're existing jugs because the little bit of oil that's already in there will add a little bit of lubricity lubricity we'll go with lubricity to the oil, to the Lucas, makes it easier to come out because it is so thick that it can be a real pain. Just watch this as I... Well, that's too full. All right, it actually wasn't too full. That's just, it was that thick that it created a seal at the bottom of the filter funnel. And now, she'll pour it back in. Look at that. All right, we're gonna let that drain for a little bit. Now we are going to do what is probably my least favorite activity when it comes to oil changes, and that is putting oil back in old containers to take to the parts store. AutoZone, O'Reilly, everywhere takes used oil these days, so take it down, let them recycle it or whatever they do with it. Maybe they throw it away, who knows? Ooh, it's a snug fit, it's definitely gonna fall off. I love this pan. Let's see how it works here. Okay. That's some black oil. 
That one's full. On to the next one. I got, so I got a bucket of weirdness here. I'm just going to do that. I will let that drain for an undetermined amount of time. That's a jar of gasoline. Probably not good just to have sitting around. Put the cap back on. It's supposed to do that. That's good. I should start it and let it run a bit. is here. Oh, we're good. That's it. About about 45.50, which is pretty average. So we'll let that sit and call it good. I'll check the oil again before I run it, so I'll leave the hood open to remind myself. All right, we got the dipstick out. Just going to show you with six quarts in there. We're right in the middle, so we are good. So that's it, quick and easy. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I don't know if you'll have any questions or really wasn't anything complicated I was doing there, but if you do have questions, let me know and I will see you on the next one. Thanks.